common fact with reporting is often people will see a number and disagree or not understand what makes up that number. And then there's additional workload on your finance department for them having to create yet another report explaining what makes up that number. Let's jump into the application and let me demonstrate to you how simple it is for the sales manager to be able to drill down himself within the report to show in real time what's making up that number. So we've already got this template that we've saved and we can provide that to the sales manager so that he can run this um, every month and he can automatically see what segments make up his particular number. And if he goes, you know what, I really thought the intercompany accounts receivable would have paid their bills on time because it's an intercompany payment and he wanted to be able to drill down in that transaction, it's actually just as easy as right hand clicking, selecting drill down. I can either ask the system to drill down and show me the numbers directly in an Excel spreadsheet if he's wanted, wanting to do further analysis, or I can come down and I can drill down and show me directly in the Info Cloud Suite form. And what's great about this is if it's opening up directly in the application, then I can drill down further and further to bring me more information. So I can see here that it's opened up the transaction for me straight away. I'm going to select my record that's showing me that account's receivable uh, asset, and I'm gonna want more detail about what makes this up. When was the invoice created? Uh, what was the invoice number? How did the system distribute that amount? And if I want to break it down even further, maybe I want to know what I sold, how many did I sell, I can simply right hand click uh, on the invoice and ask the system to provide me more detail about uh, this invoice. So then I can see that it was raised on order DC365. They've ordered 39 bicycles. Again, I might want even more information. Maybe I want to know who is the salesperson responsible for creating this order because I'm going to ask them to chase the customer for payment. So I've just right hand clicked again and hit detail. It's brought me directly to the customer order and then I can go ahead and I can see, okay, uh, the salesperson was Jeff. So I'm going to go ahead and ask Jeff to ring, ring up that customer and get justification as to why he hasn't paid that invoice yet. Thanks for sticking around. If there are any more questions that remained unanswered, please reach out to us.